Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear and we are here today to do one of my favorite videos of the year to prepare for and, and shoot, which is our top three semi-automatic espresso machines for 2021. This is gonna be, as if you've seen these before, you know, we love a lot of different machines out there. So what we like to do is narrow it down to three machines that we really wanna highlight at the end of the year. Obviously there's a lot of different machines that might fit your needs differently than the way these do, but we think these three machines are three awesome options at three different price points that are going to be a perfect pick for a lot of our customers and for a lot of people looking for a new espresso machine this holiday season. So let's get started with the Solus Barista Perfetta. So this is going to be the most affordable of the machines that we're looking at today. This one's definitely the option for anyone who wants to get into espresso for the first time, or if you have purchased a machine that's maybe even more affordable, something that's maybe a little bit cheap, and you want to try sort of a real espresso machine, this is gonna be the option for you. So it's got a thermoblock heating element, and it's gonna be able to use pressurized or unpressurized portafilter baskets, which is going to mean that you're gonna have the option to really dial in your espresso and decide if you like the process of really precise dialing in in an unpressurized basket to tease out a bunch of really unique flavors from your shots. It's also got a manual steam wand, so this is gonna be a steam wand that's fairly simple to operate, but it definitely requires some technique and practice, which is really great if you are getting into crafting espresso drinks because you're gonna get a lot of control over temperature and consistency of your milk with this steam wand. It does have some shot time programming so you can set your shots up and then recall them using the single or double shot buttons. And otherwise, it's a pretty simple machine that is definitely designed for new users and for users who kind of want to get a simple shot. The other thing this machine is good for is if you decide that you don't want to go really high end in the future, this machine might be perfect for you with its pressurized baskets. Those are very easy to dial in and use and you can get a good, uh, milk drink or shot of espresso or Americano in the morning with that pressurized basket without a ton of extra work. So all around really good option at its price point. Next up we have the Breville Dynamic Duo, which is going to be a Breville dual boiler uh, bundled with a Breville Smart Grinder Pro. So this all-in-one package is a really great deal since you're getting both of these options together. It's everything you need to get started with your espresso at home. And the du dual boiler is a machine that is going to offer you a lot for the money on its own. So this is a machine that is going to have a bunch of programming in it. It's got PID controlled temperatures. You can set things like auto on with its programming. You can set pre-infusion and shot times, a bunch of different parameters that you can control manually using its interface. It's got all of your workflow items built right in right here. It's got a manual steam wand and hot water spout. So you're gonna be able to make your milk drinks and Americanos and stuff like that uh, very easily and get your practice in with those. And it has a pretty cool larger commercial style porta filter that's a little bit bigger than what you get from a uh, more affordable machine. And bundled with it is the Smart Grinder Pro, which is a really good starter option for anyone getting into really any kind of coffee brewing. This is one of the few grinders that can go from a really fine espresso to a coarser slow brew setting. And we really like its performance at both ends of the spectrum. Obviously they're gonna be higher end espresso grinders that'll give you a little bit more consistency at the finer settings. And there's gonna be specially designed slow brew grinders that don't have as many fines and are a little more consistent at the coarser settings. But this is a grinder that will get you there for all of your starting needs and it's also got some good programmability. You got the screen here that can let you set your grind size. You've got a bunch of different shot options for whether you're grinding amounts for slow brew or espresso, and uh, then you can set your time with the dial, and it all works really easily and well, and it functions really great with the dual boiler. One of the things about this bundle that I really like over some of Breville's all-in-one options, like the Barista Express and the Barista Pro, is the fact that you can upgrade these two independently of each other. So if you decide you've outgrown the grinder in the Barista Express, you can certainly purchase another grinder, but you can't unhook the grinder from the Barista Express. In this case, if you decide you want to upgrade to a higher end espresso grinder, say, you could definitely do that and continue to use the dual boiler machine with it, which is a really nice option for anybody who is trying to look at a little higher end espresso, a little bit more of a hobbyist take on espresso, uh, and really dial in your shots and your drinks 
which requires a really good grinder and machine pair. So we like this machine a lot for that mid-range customer looking for an upgrade into something a little bit more prosumer. And last but certainly not least, we have the Rocket Espresso R58 Synquan Toto machine. So this is gonna be a pretty high-end espresso machine, definitely designed for our more prosumer customers or espresso enthusiasts who already know that they really love home espresso and they want to get a machine that's gonna last them a very long time and perform at the peak of performance for home machines. Um, so this one also has dual boilers in it, much like the Breville dual boiler. Uh, it's got a manual water arm and steam arm in similar fashion as well. Uh, and then you've got a manual brew arm here that uh, will you'll flip it up and it'll start the pre-infusion process and you can open it up all the way to get your brew pressure. And uh, it's going to be very hands-on, a little more so than the other machines that we've looked at. But we love that at this price range because it's for people who want that real hands-on control with their drinks. Uh, it's got a built-in shot timer here, which is really nice. It kind of fades into the machine when it's not on, but when it's on, it's very clear, so you can time your shots like you would on uh, other machines. And then it's also got PID-controlled temperatures in it, much like the dual boiler, but they are controlled by this really nice touch screen, which is very legible. You can program your auto on times and stuff like that with the touch screen. And if you like, you can detach it if you want to preserve that really cool Italian espresso look that this machine has. So this one again is going to be for all of our people out there who want to potentially buy their last espresso machine. Um, extremely high quality components, extremely high quality engineering, uh, E61 group head. So it's going to have really, really good temperature consistency with those pit controlled temps. And uh, it's just a really fantastic machine at the very high end of our price spectrum here today. So we've got our R58 Sync One Toto, we've got the Barista Perfetta, and we've got the Breville Dynamic Duo. These are the three machines we've highlighted for our top three semi-automatic espresso machines for 2021. If you have any questions about these machines, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed for tons more top three content that we have coming out over the rest of the month. Thanks so much. Oh, yes.